interesting beat challenge. Yeah, boy. today with another Woods reaction for you guys. Hey, Woods is back with another MV and another mini album. And I'm really, really excited this time because I am going to be reacting to the album as well. I'm going to be doing the B-sides. Um, so right now in this video, I'm going to be reacting to the I Hate You MV, but shortly after, I will also be reacting to the album. Um, I've only had a couple of B-sides. One of my... What was that? What was that sound? Um, I've actually had a couple of Woods B-sides. One of my Black Mamba patrons actually got me to listen to a couple of B couple of his B-sides. Uh, Shouts to you, Amela. Um, and I loved his B-sides, so I'm really, really excited for this. And yeah, let's just go. Disclaimer. I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go on words. Um, I hate you. Uh, no, is the Korean title. MV, let's... My voice was about to cry. Oh, is he gonna hit us with the? I'm loving this trend, like it's 
It's happening now, it's happening. You know how like the whole disco and 80s synth pop trend started and everyone just started doing a specific sound, but then they dragged it on too long. Um, but in the beginning, like it was so enjoyable. That's what's happening now with this sort of rock sound. We literally just had Rumbia and with Cheese in the Trap. We had, uh, we've had a lot. We've had, uh, what is it, uh, Aiden, Yoda Aiden as well. Like we've had quite a few groups coming out and artists coming out with this sound. And while this trend is going on, what I'm looking for is specific sounds and specific things that separates a song that sounds the same as all the others, that separates the song and makes it stand out and makes it different. Um, that's what I look for. And he gave me that in this track and that was the pre-chorus. I love, I love, 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 love that pre-chorus. It was such an interesting switch up. The, the choice of beat, I can't explain, it was almost like drum and bass, almost like that tempo. I just love that switch up. I wish it went on a little bit longer, but that's just me being greedy because I loved it so much. Um, but overall, I love the melodies. I love that break within the chorus where it would stop, kind of slow down, then pick up again. Um, I love that, I, his vocals, he's got such a nice voice. So it was really nice layers to the song as well, in terms of vocals, harmonies, ad-libs going on in back. Um, I love that. I love that. I love the visuals, like the styling. Um, everything. It was very, very cool, like aesthetically. Like it was very, very cool. I really enjoyed that. I did. I'm gonna go listen to the album now. I will see you. I'm gonna edit it and then get it up as soon as possible. And yeah, for this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I Love you, gonna find me on Instagram guys, gonna find me on Twitter, and yeah.